Well, good afternoon, and thank you very much for having me here today to speak about the copper market. It has been uh, uh, quite an exciting market for a lengthy period of time. So the intent, of course, is to discuss where the market is today. Uh, but typically, uh, as I like to do, is to look at the market uh, briefly from a historical point of view. And so what we're looking at here is the copper price and inventory comparison chart uh, beginning in 2010 and taking us through September of 2020. Uh, the black line, of course, is the monthly average price. The shaded area is the inventories held in COMEX, LME, and Shanghai inventories. Uh, but to, to put the current market into perspective, uh, we have to go back to 2010. And it was during that period, uh, following the financial crisis, where the market uh, recovered from very, very low dollar twenty-five at the end of 2008 to a record high four dollars and fifty cents in February of 2011. And it was, as as I perceive the market, it was primarily driven by the infusion of trillions of dollars by central banks around the world, coupled with government support programs to get the economy back on a firm footing and back on the road to recovery following the financial crisis. Uh, once that peak was reached in February of 2011, the market entered a long-term downtrend, a five-year downtrend uh, that brought the price down to $2 in January of 2016. And only with the benefit of hindsight at that time, uh, that was the low point. Uh, the market began to recover. And throughout 2016, it kind of moved sideways. And then in, in November of 2016, following the election, uh, where President uh, Trump or Mr. Trump became uh, the elected president, uh, the market rose sharply and brought us up to uh, almost 275 in the 2017 period. It uh, vacillated for a period of time and then continued the rising trend into 2018. And uh, quite frankly, at that point, the, the view in the marketplace was quite bullish. Uh, the outlook was positive. The global economy was doing well. Uh, unemployment was very low in this country and in many of the other major countries. Uh, and the price was on a rising trend until we get to June of 2018, when the trade war started with China. And not only copper, but all of the industrial metals fell very sharply uh, following that turn in June of 2018. And then the price uh, just sort of vacillated as uh, we saw progress and setbacks in the trade negotiations with China. Uh, throughout the, 2000, the second half of 2018 and throughout 2019. So when we get to the fourth quarter of 2019, uh, trade negotiations are on a firmer footing. Uh, the view was that the global economy is going to get back on track. Uh, the price is beginning to move into a rising trend again. Uh, so coming into 2020, uh, the market was uh, rising, and we get into the first two weeks of the new year. Uh, the news of the pandemic uh, begins spreading, cases begin spreading, and the market falls precipitously uh, throughout the first quarter of 2020, with the monthly average falling to $2.30 in April of this year. Uh, we then have... The similar to what we saw following the financial crisis in 2008, central banks around the world and governmental support programs uh, came, were put in place, uh, enabling markets to recover. And we see copper moving up to $3.02 monthly average basis by the time we get to September. So that's, that's the broad brush view of, of what the market did do and is doing most recently. So this is like the 5,000 foot level. If we take it down specifically to 2020 and see what's happening now, 
we'll take a look at the next slide here. And so here we're looking at the black line being the daily spot closing price, the blue line being the high price over about a uh, two and a half month period, the red line being the low price over about a two and a half month period. And it's very clear that the market is in a rising trend and it has been making higher highs and higher lows. Uh, so we've seen the market move from on a spot basis, $2.11 back in uh, March of this year, up to $3.11 uh, in September. So we have a gain of 47% over that period of time. So <clears throat> uh, to, to summarize here, uh, we have copper rising 47% uh, over an approximate uh, six month period of time. The global copper market is in a deficit position. Inventories held in COMEX, LME and Shanghai warehouses are very, very low. And the market uh, over the past two to three months now has been drifting in and out of the backwardation. Uh, the monthly average price we saw in September uh, rose to a 27 month high. It was the first time since June of 2018 where the price was over $3 a pound. And as I say, whether we look at it on a daily basis or a monthly average basis, uh, the market is making higher highs and higher lows, which is the basis for the price cycle and metal market study that we've been working on. Uh, so We've got a rising trend, and I expect that trend to continue rising. So I thank you very much for having me here today and taking the time to listen to this presentation. If, if you haven't done it, take a look at my website, which is um, www.jegrowth.com. And there is a, uh, right on the main page, a thing in there for the uh, copper 50-year bull and bear market report, study, cycle, whatever you want to call it. Thank you.